when you discuss and bring up these points about inspiration, what really has been your inspiration? And I don't mean by scratching the surface, Blaze, about, you know, this person did this or I learned that. What was the turning point at what age in your life did you realize and understand that you are not your environment? You are not just your territory or a geographic location or specifically a model or an actor. What age, what happened? I'd probably say when I was 15, my mother, she passed away. Um, and me and my mother were two peas in a pod, uh, best friends. And, um, you know, when she passed away, it, you know, I could, I had two choices to either, you know, give up. I was depressed, wanting to kill myself um, or keep going. And, and I remember vividly one day I went outside, you know, so depressed and I thought the world was going to stop. And I saw everybody continuing moving, you know, New York City, everybody's going fast and Wall Street this and, and this and that. So I was like, wow, I was like, you know, you know, the world keeps going. Like no matter what you go through, um, things are going to keep going. So, you know, at that that day, I really decided that, you know, I was going to live for me and for my mom because she sacrificed so much for me to be in these positions and to have this mindset that I do. Um, that I wasn't going to let her down, that I was going to, you know, lay it all on the line. Like every day I, I, I worked to exhaustion because, you know, she would always say blood, sweat and tears that she puts into me and, and to, you know, and, and to make sure I'm good. So, you know, I try to, to I try to, you know, pay that back to her. Um, so, you know, that was really the turning point for me. Um, and now. You know, I'm, I'm very uh, a happy guy and good spirits all the time. And everyone's always asking me, how are you in such good spirits? Why are you so happy all the time? You know, when like going through, you know, losing my best friend, nothing phases me. So anything throughout my day, nothing really phases me. I'm so calm and cool. And I really love that, you know, about about myself. Um, you know, it could, you know, nothing really like rattles me. Um, and, I, and I try to just preach that to people because. Um, you know, some people panic and, and things look bad at times, which you can. But, um, you know, just one little switch, one little thing could just change around your day. So um, I just never try to get too down or never try to get too up. If things happen, that's good for me. I don't really brag or, or boast or, or try to. Well, I do have a, a nice team of people that kind of keep me humble, too. Uh, I have a best friend named Franz who whenever I tell him anything, they'd be like, yeah, we just sold for a billion dollars. He's like, that's it. So I, I do have people that keep me accountable and keep me humble um, if things get too high and, and, and things like that. So, yeah. 